All right, welcome back. So this is another SPSS video with Professor Wyman. Um, I just went through and uh, there are videos on this data set for descriptive statistics for variables that are ordinal and nominal, um, and then also reverse scoring and cleaning data. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and move on and do descriptive statistics for a scale level of measurement in SPSS, which is interval or ratio. So just as a reminder, this is the Machiavellianism data set from the 244A um, class last semester. I got this data from um, Haggle and selected 500 responses to use as an example. Uh, and again, Machiavellianism is a personality trait that is uh, considered to include manipulation, lack of empathy, um, loose morality, et cetera. All right, so we have some variables here. Um, we're gonna use age as our example. And uh, again, I wanna show you, there's the right click, there's the, met, the menu option, and then we'll talk about syntax as well. Um, so I'm gonna right click first, do descriptive, and you can see that ooh, it looks like this. So we have frequencies variables equals age. And then this one is a little different. So notice that compared to the analyses we did for ordinal and nominal variables, we have standard deviation and mean and median. And that is because we can calculate those things um, because we now have meaningful numbers that we're, that we're evaluating. So how many years old are you? We can see that the mean is 27.42. Um, the median is 23. The standard deviation is 12.96. The range is 71, meaning that there is a difference of 71 years between our youngest of 13 and our oldest of 84. Now, if we were actually analyzing this data, we'd need to know more about how they got um, people who are under 18 to participate. Right, but this is uh, useful information for us, so we can see we can see some information here. Um, now, looking at this data, um, there's different ways that we can collect information on our scale measurements. Um, so, the other way that you can do this, the other way that you can analyze this, I'm going to go to analyze descriptive statistics. I'm going to go to descriptives this time, and again, I'm going to right click display variable names, and I'm going to choose age. So here, if I go to options, I can select other information that I might find interesting and useful, like skewness and kurtosis. I could change ascending means, descending means, other things here. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever used some, but you could if you wanted to. Uh, and you can also get the standard error of the mean, but I'm gonna go ahead and say continue. And I'm gonna say, okay. So notice that this is slightly different. It says descriptive st descriptives variables. And then I added this kurtosis and skewness. Uh, there's a different video that talks about distribution shape. If you need a refresher for, for kurtosis and skewness, can't talk today, it's a Friday. Um, but you can see here that we have N of 500. So we had 500 people who answered this. We didn't have any missing. And it gives us the same information just in a different format. But now we have skewness. We have the statistic and the standard error for skewness and kurtosis. So we could um, talk about this variable in terms of its characteristics, what we calculated. So that's the end of this short video. Um, I'm going to next go into cross tabulations and I will talk to you soon.